views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio. Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Psychic Visionary and Vibrational Healers, Carol Dorian and Justice Welling, where you can call in and ask about your chakras, aura, and spiritual DNA. Tune in and discover the energy that is contradictive to your path of wholeness. Get ready to meet the most important person in your life, you. Well, hello, everyone. You are listening to Spiritual Diagnostics with Carol Dorian and Justice Welling. Carol is off doing some seminars, so you guys are stuck with me today. And we are talking about STEs, sexually transmitted energy. So we've all heard of STDs, which is sexually transmitted diseases, or STI, which is sexually transmitted infections. But there's also STE, which is sexually transmitted energy. So if we are in a relationship with someone and we have that intimate energy and we are connecting on all levels, just how you can cry for someone or feel someone's pain or energy or even contract someone's cold or flu. Or, you know, sometimes we connect to someone's negative or positive energy. In all of the same ways you can do those things, you can also contract an STE. And that comes from that intimate energy. When you share a love with someone on an intimate level, they are sharing a part of themselves with you. And, you know, there's a lot on this topic I want to talk about. And there's a, definitely a lot of things that I want to say, and I have so many notes here, but one of the things that I want to do is I have a guest here with me today, and I kind of want to get his story out there first before I kind of run into all of my story, because I definitely want to give him an opportunity to talk. Um, and since Carol is not joining us today, I want everybody to say hello to Daniel. Hello. (laughs) Hi, everyone. (laughs) Daniel, how are you? Good. I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. Um, And so you can sort of hear what I'm saying when I talk about you can catch someone's cold, you can sort of contract someone's energy, and especially when we're talking about intimate energy. You can share energy with a person on an intimate level. You can contract their energy. You can contract their chaos or their confusion and uncertainty. You can contract their unbalances. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So Danny is a client of mine, or Daniel, I should say, (laughs) (laughs) is a client of mine. And do you want to tell everybody a little bit about your story? Sure, absolutely. So... Um, I guess just, I was in a relationship, um, with Richie for about two years, maybe a little longer than two years. Um, we're actually not together at the moment. Um, but we are having like more interactions of talking. More communication. Yes. With Mm -hmm. each other. So when I first met him, you know, I could tell like there was a lot going on with him, but I didn't know actually how deep it was until a little later in the relationship. Um, I guess just to start his, his son, um, was, was murdered. Wow. Yes. A very traumatic event. Um, in the situation that happened, uh, his son was with his ex-wife at the time uh, and her new boyfriend. And no one really knows what happened, but it was blunt 
like a blunt force trauma to the head, which is what they determined, um, you know, how he passed away. Um, the guy was tried, his ex-wife's boyfriend at the time was tried, but he was never convicted. Mm. So um, in that situation, it, it was just very painful. It's still very painful for him. So around the time of his son's birthday or uh, the anniversary of his son's death, it was it was very, like emotional um it was because he didn't know how to like talk about it he didn't know how to express it and uh, he would always end up you know taking it out on me and uh, the for the first year that it happened um it was it was very hard and i under and i understood what was going on and after hearing of his situation, it did make sense why uh, just uh, the mood and everything, just being around him was so, it was so strange at first. And uh, he did take it out on me um, physically sometimes, um, you know, because he didn't know how to talk about it. And when the next year, when it started to come around and I started to see, you know, how like every, uh, his, his mood would be altered and how he would talk to me and approach me because it was around that time of his son's anniversary or death. And or I, his son's it, birthday yes, or something that yes, triggered something him that triggered it, yes. to remember. Yes. And I thought that going through it once and, you know, me knowing the situation that I would be able to you know, that you would expect it more, it would become easier yes. to take the abuse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, I thought I was going to be able to help, like, you know, coax him through it and talk him through it and, you know, be supportive of him because he definitely needed, you know, someone there at that time. And it's even though it was like seven years had still passed, but it's still, it's still emotional time for him. And it, it, I think every day it is. Oh, I, a death in any case is an emotional time. It brings hurt, confusion, anger, uncertainty, and you need time to filter that. And you need time to mourn um, when someone passes away. Now, when you bring a child and say, okay, it's a child passing away that just you know I'm sure is so much more worse yes and then when you add into the mix unresolved issues no justice no one was charged and it's a different situation if god forbid you know your child was uh, ill yeah you know and it was kind of leading up to this point and you were doing treatment but this is you know I left my son in your care and now I don't have a son anymore right. and nobody you know, there's no responsibility took in. There's no justice. There really is no closure. Right. And so Richie is dealing with all of these unresolved feelings, issues, and emotions, and is taking it out on you, Daniel. Yes. And one of the things, you know, when I first met you um, and you were starting to, you know, have some diagnostic evaluations through us, we diagnosed um, Richie with a lot of spiritual PTSD, which we talked about last week on our show. And we diagnosed you with some STEs, which we're talking about in this show. Correct. Um, so how did you feel after that intimate energy between you and Richie, you know, after you were done having intimacy, whether it was you know, uh, a day later, an hour later, a week later, how did that energy make you feel? Because you knew that energy did not belong to you. Right. Um, it, it was very odd at first. It didn't feel the same. It just wasn't like normal, how it, how it normally was. And I really don't know how to, de how to describe it. It, it, it's, it, it's like, 
I would feel uneasy, like exactly. uns- uncertain, uh-huh. like of the relationship, you know, where it was going and and about yourself, I remember you telling me too, because you are contracting all of his negative energy and emotions. Yes. So I remember, um, I think it was our uh, seventh visit with each other that um, you came in emotional because you had lost your job. Yes. Because you had this new energy that you were dealing with that you contracted from Richie. And that you were confused, like you were saying, uncertain. Yes. You couldn't make decisions. You okay. felt negative, and you brought that into your workplace, and you weren't giving 100% because you didn't have that 100% to give. Right. And if anyone knows you, you are the person that gives 100% <laughs> right. in anything that you do. And when you felt you didn't have that 100% to give because it was being taken away from you from an energy that don't even belong to you, that's when I think you really started like, I need a solution. I need to fix this. I yes. need to, you know, that's when I really saw you, you know, separating yourself from Richie to one clear balance and heal yourself so that you can either go back to that relationship or find a new relationship. Yes. And I love sitting here talking with you and there is more to come on spiritual diagnostics, but we are going to take a short break and we will return after this. Miss any shows during the week? Don't worry, we've got you covered. With the free Transformation Talk radio app, you'll have access to all of the past week's shows in the palm of your hand. Yes! Tune in to Transformation Talk Radio anywhere you go with our free app for any of your devices. Check out our app in the App Store and Google Play Store today. Known for his keen sense of humor, contagious smile, and extensive esoteric wisdom, EJ translates deep spiritual wisdom into practical advice to empower you to live your happiest, most fulfilled experience. Mystic Living Radio, deep spiritual wisdom, practical advice with EJ, Eliyahu Jihan. This hit show delivers profound experiences for all who want to live life to their deepest desires. Tune in monthly for Mystic Living Radio. Learn more by visiting vitaltransformation.org. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Do you want to heal your body and mind? Your body has a lot to tell you if you just learn to listen to your intuition. Audrey Michelle, host of Rewired Life Radio, can help you peel away the layers that are holding you back from living your best life. Tune in to Rewired Life Radio. Learn to love, heal, celebrate on Transformation Talk Radio every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Connect with Audrey at AudreyMichelle.com. Be you plus live your purpose equals joy. That's the motto of Unstuck Joy with Vicki Todd. Vicki believes you were born with gifts that are meant to make the world brighter. Each show will feature an art visioning journal prompt to help you create your way to soul clarity. If you're ready to get unstuck and create more joy, this show is for you. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio. For more information, visit VickiWorldArt.com. And 
And we're back, and you are listening to Spiritual Diagnostics. I am Justice Welling, and I want to give everybody an opportunity to call in with any questions or comments, and you can call us at 1-800-930-2819, or you can give us a call after the show at 312-898-2285, or you can visit us at spirituald.com. And we are talking about S-T-E, spiritually, or I'm sorry, (laughs) well, it's spiritually and sexually transmitted energy. So when you share love with someone on an intimate level, they are sharing a part of themselves with you. And you can contract all the positives, but also all the negatives. So let's say someone has a blocked chakra or a retention in their aura or has a lot of negative energy, or let's just say that person has a lot of chaos, confusion, uncertainty, just their life is all kind of mixed up. When you share energy with this person on an intimate level, you can contract their energy. You can contract their chaos, confusion, and uncertainty. You can contract all of their imbalances. You know, I have a client who was very strong, independent, and driven. And she was headed for so much success in her life. She met a young man and started a very sort of temporary relationship. And she only met him, I believe, once or twice. Um, she had an intimate relationship with him. They, and then they went sort of their separate ways. But weeks later, she complained about confusion, uncertainty, not being strong, falling apart, being emotional, feeling like she cannot move forward, feeling thoughts and energies that she has never felt before. She had contracted sexually transmitted energy from that young man. She contracted the negativity, the chaos, everything that she did not have before. So once she came in and we did a spiritual diagnostics on my client and found out the energy that that came from this, this young man, we found out that it came from him. We found out how long it was there, what strength level it was at and what exactly the interference was and exactly where it was placed in her aura or her chakras. And we started immediately working on it to release that energy, cleanse her spiritual connection and aura from all of that energy. And once we were done, she was back to her original self, which was great because she was back to being strong, independent, and, you know, to do everything that she had to do in her life. But that's just one example. You know, um, some people are dealing with energy their whole lives and never filtered it, never got rid of it. It's been there, you know, most of their lives, even from childhood. I remember maybe a couple of weeks ago or more, we had a caller call into the show um, who was giving us some symptoms on their um, on again, off again uh, relationship. Um, And they were telling us about his girlfriend. um, Can't remember all the details, (laughs) but um, it was an on again, off again relationship. And there was a lot of abuse coming from this lady's past. So when they called in after the show, um, and I gave him a diagnostics, we found out, uh, that he was suffering from, um, an STE contracted from his girlfriend. Um, and we were able to give him the information that he needed. And so both of them started some cleansing and meditation. And now they're both filtered and happy and starting a new, you know, starting a new journey in their current relationship. And, you know, again, I'm sitting here talking to Daniel and that's what I see. And that's the hopes that I have for you and Richie. Yes. You know, right now you guys are taking a little time apart um, because you need to heal yourself and your energy. Because when you have that intimate relationship, Daniel, when you have that with Richie and you are contracting his one, his emotions, one, 
that chaotic energy from the past, those unresolved issues that he is dealing with. Um, and now that has contracted in your energy, your energy field, your chakras, your aura, you're going to feel it. And now you're going to have a lot of imbalances. And that's one of the reasons why your chakras wasn't working properly. And then you started having those imbalances within yourself, which projected onto your work, Right. which, you know, you had a pause in your life. I did. Now, I am not saying that everybody with an, uh, a, a bad past or an abusive past or someone that passed away, you know, anybody with an issue, because we've all had issues in our past. So I'm not saying anyone with an issue, when you're intimate, now all of your issues are passed on to the new person. But I am saying if you don't resolve your issues, you are going to pass them on to somebody else. So let's say... You know, somebody had, if you had an STD or an STI, wouldn't you inform your partner? Absolutely. So if you had an STE, you should do exactly the same. Inform your partner. I believe so, yes. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) And say, I have a lot of unresolved issues. I know this energy is going to, you know, you're going to contract it. It will filter over to you. And I think a lot of us, deal with this. And sometimes we don't know what it is. You know, there's so many people that say out of nowhere, I feel this, I have this, I'm going through this and I never had it before. And it's because you're dealing with an STE. And I'm here to say, I'm here to tell you there is a solution. There is a meditation. There is, you know, and that's what we do. When you call in and we give you a service, we are going to sort of make that solution for you, depending on where your chakra is, where your aura, it's very detailed to you. And again, I just want to give everybody a chance to call in and ask questions. It's 1-800-930-2819, or you can call after the show, 312-898-2285 or you could visit us at spirituald.com. So Daniel, do you want to give us a little bit of an update? You told us where you were in the relationship with um, Richie um, and all of the emotions and feelings that you felt that he sort of kind of, you contracted sort of he gave to you from an STE. Yes. Do you want to tell us where you are now? Well, um, we're in a good spot. Like I said, we're, We're not together, but we are talking. Um, I really don't know how to put it, actually. And I'm not really quite sure, um, you know, where the relationship is going to go at this point. But we have, you know, with, with meeting through you and doing the meditations and, you know, learning so much about myself and the process of all of this and, you know, being able to channel my emotions in a different direction, uh, has done wonders. Good. <laughs> it really has. Um, and I do have, you know, high hopes for us and I believe eventually, you know, we are going to rekindle mm-hmm. everything and get back together. Even with, you know, my doing the meditation, um, I have been able to help him, Good. you know, realize more and come to not an understanding of the past, but to where he is able, like confident and comfortable enough to channel like his, his emotions and how he's feeling at that, that time in a healthy way. Yes. Instead of towards you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because it, it wasn't just me. It was everyone, everyone. Mm-hmm. And it, it was, it was really bad. So we're working through it day by Good. day. <laughs> and one of the things that I love is that, I mean, you definitely got your solution. So you're cleansed and clean and have, have no more interruption in your energy field. And, um, you know, that was caused by this STE. And what I love is that when you talk to Richie, 
you are giving him a different way to channel his emotions. Right. But you are also helping him filter some of that energy yes. that he's been holding on to from his past that involved his son. Yes. Now, again, we're not filtering his son or the experience. Right. But a healthy way to deal with it. And that's what I wanted him you know, to see, like, I, I don't, I, I never asked him, you know, just to forget it or, you know, let it go. I just, you know, I, I need him to <laughs> just be in better communication with me and, you know, talk, talk with me instead of at me. Oh and, yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the things we were talking about earlier. Uh, when I mentioned we had a caller a couple of weeks ago and his on again, off again, girlfriend in that relationship, he was telling us some, some symptoms he was having. And I told him right away, I said, you know, this sounds like an STE. And I said, I told him, we're going to be doing a show about this. So I want you to listen in. Um, and when he called in and we did a reading and a diagnostic service, we found out that there was a lot of verbal, mental, and some physical abuse when his girlfriend was growing up. Um, she grew up in a negative energy, uh, a lot of negative energy in the home. Um, when, as she was growing up, her spiritual field and energy was very imbalanced. Um, therefore, when she started a relationship with him, she sort of transferred that energy to her partner. So when that energy got transferred to my client, he was feeling and living all of the symptoms and the side effects of her energy. Um, and, you know, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. I am not saying that if you had a rough childhood <laughs> or if you have a block chakra, you cannot be intimate with someone. But I am saying if you had an STD or an STI, you would be more precautious and you would talk to your partner before intimacy. And that's exactly what you should do with an STE. And you should seek out some spiritual help, just like Daniel did. So when you don't, so you don't transfer that energy to your lifelong partner, to your temporary partner, or to anyone that you want to have intimacy with. If you feel like there is something wrong, whether it's coming from your past or your past life, if you feel that you have contracted an energy after you were intimate with someone, chances are you have contracted an STE. You can definitely filter it. You can definitely protect yourself. But you do need the information on how to do that. And I always say this is an informational show. We do offer all types of guidance, meditation, mantras, help, solutions, but you need the information in order to do that. Um, for those of you who feel like I might have an energy that I, uh, I don't want to transfer to someone, you know, um, because I think a lot of people say that I have an energy and I know that I have it just like an STI. I have it and I don't want to give it to anyone, you know, right. um, I don't want to give it to someone I love. I don't want to be intimate with someone because I, I might have an STE. For those people, I want to say, give us a call. We can talk about the different types of cleansing solutions, meditations, and methods that we have uh, that you can release all of that energy so you don't pass it to anyone else. You know, I also I want to talk about another client I've had because a lot of my clients dealt with some STEs. Um, I also had a client, and this is how she found out that her husband was being unfaithful. She felt an energy in her life, and her personality wasn't the same. Her chakras, she felt, was very unbalanced. The energy was in her home. Um, it was just a different energy. And that's exactly the way she explained it to me. I remember her saying, it's not negative or positive. It's just very different. It's because of her, her husband's unfaithfulness that he was contracting his girlfriend's energy and then passing it to his wife. And she felt an unfamiliar energy. And like she said, not positive, not negative, just unfamiliar. But when you have an energy that you have contracted that does not belong to you, 
and you do not filter it in time, it is going to corrupt or interfere with your spiritual connection or your aura. So my client felt like she had more important things to do or to pay attention to, like we all do. (laughs) So she didn't want to pay attention to this unfamiliar energy. So a few months had passed and this unfamiliar energy became very negative in her spiritual system. She could not concentrate or focus. Her confidence and self-esteem was very low. She could not complete things or, or tasks in her daily life. She couldn't make decisions. She was very uncertain. This is because this energy sat for a while and then traveled to her chakras and then corrupted it. Remember, this is just like an STI or an STD. If we was intimate with somebody and forgot that we were intimate or just didn't pay attention, we would only remember if we were having symptoms or a reaction. And then we would jog our memory and be like, oh, Did I contract an STI or an STD? And that's really the only way that we really remember or pay attention. Right, Daniel? Yes. If we start having symptoms or a reaction and then we go, "Mm, who was I intimate with? When was I intimate with them? You know, and it's the same thing. We never think that we're pregnant, right? Right. (laughs) (laughs) Until a symptom until a reaction. And then for us to say, oh, let me think about this. When was I intimate? Do you understand? Yes. And then you think I could have contracted something or I could be pregnant. And then you think about the person you were intimate with. And then you start Googling. (laughs) And then we start going to doctors. So this is the same thing. We could have contracted something and then you're going to go to Google and then you're going to go to a spiritualist and then you're going to try to find out spiritually what happened, what went wrong and what's, you know, the most important thing on how to fix it and say, I feel like I have something ever since I was intimate with this person, things in my life ain't going right. Whether it's a situation like Daniel and Richie, where there's a lot from one's past and they're bringing it up in the present, and now their relationship is at a standstill, and now all of that energy is contracted to their partner, and now that person is having difficulty in their life. You know, now that Daniel has done the work, put in the time, the energy, the effort, the meditation, he read the books, he done everything that he was supposed to do, he is all now... Uh, what what I would say, 100% filtered, better. Oh, absolutely. Clean, balanced. So balanced. Um, I feel that your heart chakra is really good. You're giving and receiving properly. Your third eye is very good. You, your intuition is back to normal. Um, so I do feel that you are back to your original self at 100%. And now you are helping your maybe soon-to-be partner again. Yeah. <laughs> With their self. And, um, you know, we talked last week about spiritual post-traumatic stress. Yes. Which, you know, I'm, I'm, I can guarantee you that, that Richie has. Oh, yeah. And he needs to work through that. And, and I think that he will. That's what we're trying. That's what we're trying to do right now Mm -hmm. is work through it and get past it. And, you know, I mean, just even for him to, you know, talk about it openly is a huge huge step because it was very, you know, very traumatic Mm -hmm. and it's never going to go away. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's always going to be there like in the back of his mind or any trigger or anything. So Mm -hmm. we just need him to like, like I said, talk when he talks about it openly, it's, that's even a step in the, in the right direction. I think so because before he was not communicating his pain, his emotions, what he was feeling, it was all bottled up inside. And what did he do with all of that bottled up energy? He took it out on you sometimes physically, but mostly emotionally and verbally. And then spiritually. 
we're transferring that energy over to you. And that it affected me greatly because the tension mm-hmm. and just the mood swings, constant mood swings, it was, it was very hard to deal with. And as you know, you said, as a result, I, I did end up losing my job. Mm-hmm. over it because it was so chaotic and That's I thought right. this the second you know year <clears throat> would have been better right like I yeah I thought it would have been better um, just me knowing that that time is coming around and it's right. going to be a little stressful uh-huh. which I mean in any any situation or any case or I'm sure it would be the same <clears throat> I just thought I was going to be able to handle it better. And it, it just, it, he just, he still couldn't do it. Yeah. So then I needed, I needed to figure something out because like I said, it, it, it impacted me greatly, you know, as far as where I had to get another job and, right. you know, just waking up and, you know, not knowing what to say or, you know, I didn't want to say anything to trigger him to make him, you know, lash out at me or anything. And that's not a relationship. Right. That's not a healthy relationship, right. I should say. Right. When you cannot communicate with your partner and say, honey, let me help you. Yeah. What is wrong? Um, or having, you know, afraid to talk or walk <laughs> yeah. or be a certain way because you might trigger them to lash out on you, like you say, that's not a healthy relationship at all. Right. Um, but I love that that's what, well, I don't love it, but I love that you got the help, but I love how that's what it took for you to realize, Hey, I got to get some help. I'm going to Google some stuff. Yes. You know, you came across justice and Carol, Carol and justice, Yes. you know, and we started working together, but most of us, you know, for all of our listeners, I want to say, don't wait until that point. And that's the number one reason I wanted Daniel on the show is because hear his story. He was in a situation that, you know, his partner was suffering and he was suffering greatly and it affected their lifestyle, their sleeping, their everyday activities, their jobs, their financial situation and their future. Okay. But look what it took for Daniel to say, okay, I'm going to Google some stuff. I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to seek some help, some guidance. I need some self-help. I need to help myself. I need to help Richie. I need to help my future. It took to the point where he was afraid to communicate, you know, it took you losing a job. And that's what I want my listeners to know is don't wait to the point where this energy is going to infect your chakra, your aura, your spiritual connection, your daily activity, your work, your finances, more of your relationship, because you can stop it early on. Yes. Just like anything else. You know, I've I've said this a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred and one. If you have a cold and you do nothing about it, it will probably turn into something worse or turn into an infection, turn into bronchitis. And then you're in, you know, you got a lot of medicine, you got a hospital, right? Right. But if you just sort of either prevented it, which is vitamin C or vitamins or whatever, hand sanitizer, (laughs) (laughs) right? right? (laughs) Or if you are starting a cold, get on it right away, you know, and help yourself right away. But sometimes you know, just like what you're saying, we wait. You say yes. the first year was hard and I thought I'd be better prepared the second year around. Right. So, you know, it was the seventh year of his uh, son passing and your second year together and you thought it would be better. Right. You know, but it wasn't. It was exactly the same. It wasn't. So it, it was just, you know, as you can hear, you know, I mean, he was married. He has children. Right. You know, and now he's... Um, you know, in a gay relationship. Right. So, I mean, it's, it was a lot. It was, it was a lot for him. Yes. It was a lot. And so him coming from so much chaos, so much confusion, so much hurt, so much disappointment, so much spiritual PTSD about his wife, about himself, about his child, you know, and him not being able to filter that to communicate that he lashed out on you. 
Yes. And you felt like, well, the second year is going to be better. That's why I wanted you on the show for our listeners to hear, look, the second year doesn't get better. The second day doesn't get better. The second time around intimacy isn't going to be better. The second whatever is not going to be better. If you feel it and you think there's something wrong, the odds and chances are there is something wrong. Educate yourself today. Do what Daniel did, Google. And if you don't get answers through Carol and me or Transformation Talk, or spiritual diagnostics, you got to get that help from somewhere, get that guidance from somewhere. The most important thing is to educate yourself. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. For everyone who's listening, I would definitely say if you feel that there is something wrong, nine times out of 10, it normally there is something wrong. Um, and just just to go through it and thought I was going to be able to be stronger and because I'm I'm that kind of a person, you know, just because he does have some flaws and he's been through a lot in his life, you know, I still wanted to be there for him because that's what he needed. He probably just had people who would just give up on him and I didn't want to give up on him, even though he did some, you know, mean things to me and he did physically hit me. I I still feel that he still deserves to be loved. He still deserves to, you know, to have someone there. Um, and that's what I love about you is you always give a hundred percent. If someone deserves it or not, needs it or not, wants it or not, you do that in your life, in your career, in your relationships. You always give somebody the benefit of the doubt. You're always there for them and you will take the physical, mental, verbal, and spiritual abuse because you are that strong and you can fight it and get through it and hope for a better you know, chance at the end, except for, you know, now I think you, you did the right thing by taking a step away and helping yourself first. Um, and then we can work on, on helping Richie. And we are going to talk more about this when we come back. Um, if you want to call in, it's 1-800-930-2819. And we will be back after this. Curious about the meaning of life? Do you want to deepen your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. The school also organizes group meditations each year to benefit humanity. Whether you're just beginning to reflect on the spiritual side of your life or are a more experienced spiritual seeker, the school warmly welcomes you to join our group. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit esotericstudies.net. That's esotericstudies.net. Are you stuck in unhealthy habits, toxic relationships, and low self-esteem? Do you crave a life of inspiration, love, self-acceptance, and fun? Sounds like you're on the verge, on the verge to your next big thing. Join Laura Richer, host of On The Verge Radio, helping you use your breakdown for a breakthrough, overcome life's greatest challenges, and live the life you want and deserve. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio, or visit seattlehealinghypnosis.com for more information. Awareness is universal. Establishing a living awareness through meditation brings peaceful, healthy, and creative well-being into your everyday life. The practice of living awareness, Spirit Fire's own meditation practice, is built on this belief and is designed for every level of practitioner. Each year, Spirit Fire hosts living awareness meditation retreats that allow you to explore the practice in depth at our retreat center in beautiful western Massachusetts. Introduce yourself to meditation and the practice at the Foundations Retreat. Attend, in silence, a silent meditation retreat focused on mindfulness, presence, and nature. Or be engaged with the meditation sittings themselves at the Deepening Retreat. Start adding to your awareness and attend a meditation retreat designed to cultivate consciousness in your everyday life. 
For details on attending a Living Awareness Meditation Retreat, visit upcoming events at www.spiritfire.com. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. And we're back. You're listening to Spiritual Diagnostics. I am Justice Welling. We want to give everybody a chance to call in. If you want to call in after the show, it's 312-898-2285, or you could visit us at spirituald.com. And today we are talking about STEs, which is sexually transmitted energy. And I've been talking to Daniel, who has shared his story um, and who's given us so much uh, enlightenment and, and hope that relationships are repairable after an STE. Um, and I've shared some other client stories um, with you guys. And I just want everybody to know, you know, a lot of people are uneducated when it comes to an STE. And that's why we're here. We're here to educate you and say, just like an STI or an STD, you don't want to contract it and you don't want to spread it. And a sexually transmitted energy is the same thing. I do not want to contract it and I don't want to give it to anybody else because I I don't want someone to have the confusion, the imbalances or the uncertainty that I have. If I have a blocked chakra or a retention in my aura that I am holding on to from my past, then I want to filter it and deal with it so I don't give it to somebody else or vice versa. I don't want to contract someone else's situation just as if it was an STI or an STD. I feel like all three of them are equally dangerous. (laughs) Um, True. But I am definitely here to educate uh, our listeners to say, look, if you feel like there is something you feel like, let me jog my memory. I've never had this emotion, this energy, this feeling or these symptoms, but I do feel it ever since I was intimate with a certain person. Like I said, chances are you have an STE and there is help. There is treatment and there is a solution. Yes. Um, so I, I just basically want to say, you know, uh, if anyone has doubts or if you're confused, really take the take this chance, uh, take an opportunity to seek the help uh, and get the answers. And, you know, this way, uh, the situation in the end will be resolved and you will just feel so, so much better. The enlightenment that the enlightenment that you get, it, it really is just like almost getting yourself back mm-hmm. because I, I'm here, I'm healed. I'm actually like in the, the best place of my life where Good. I have ever been. Good. So I, I hope that anyone who heard my story and, you know, if, if you're feeling the same way or if you're kind of in a, a similar situation or anything really that you need to get answers to, I, I, I definitely would reach out. Um, you can always go to the like, spirituald.com uh, and, and look it up that way. Aw, well, thanks, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank yes, you. he is here. He uh, is recovered. Yes, I am. Living a recovered life. Best hopes for the future. Um, still working on his relationship. Yes. Um, and he's come very far, but when you care about someone and you love someone, even if they come with a lot from their past, you give people the hope because look how you're fixing it and straightening it out. And you was very infected 
There was a lot of retentions in your aura, just like Richie's. Mm -hmm. A lot of chakras that was imbalanced, just like Richie's. Oh, right. And, you know, you contract that, but now you are better. You are filtered. You are living a recovered life. You are working on your relationship. Hopefully, Richie will work on his spiritual PTSD. Yes. And you guys can, you know, start again and work on this relationship. So I'm excited for your future. I know I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to, we only have a few more minutes left, but do you want to tell our listeners about the process when you first started? Um, I remember you saying you were confused. You had doubts. There was times where you almost wanted to give up, like your faith wasn't in it, but you kind of stuck with it. I did. I, I definitely had doubts in the beginning and, you know, I, re I really wasn't quite sure, but just because of, you know, all of the stuff that I was holding inside of me too, of that negative, just energy. And it, I was starting to bottle stuff up myself oh, too. Of course. So, <laughs> you know, when I, when I finally found you, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I did have the doubts and, but it was so worth it. I mean, really, like I said, I'm in the best place of my life now. I mean, you, you have truly helped me and get well, me to where I you, need to be. Well, thank you. But it's a, it's a team effort. We, we do it together. <laughs> yes. And I, I really give you the tools of what you need. You and I always tell people if you, you know, I said it in the show, if you have a symptom and you think, oh, I might have a cough, a cold, an STD, or whatever, <laughs> you're going to jog your memory and say, what do I have? Let me Google it. Yes. That's our, always our first reaction. Yeah, and then let, let me go to the doctor. Right. And this would be the same thing. Go ahead and Google your symptoms and yes. then go to a spiritualist. Right. And it could be Catch any, it anywhere. Mm -hmm. It gets too far. Exactly. Prevention. Yes. Too. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 I love it. I love it too. <laughs> I think that Carol is going to be very jealous that she missed this episode. Oh. And um, I think she, I hope she's listening right now. And she, I hope is, she is too. Yeah. And she's going to be like, I would have loved to sit in on this. I know. Well, maybe when she's back, I'll, maybe if I'm in the area, I'm might be able to stop that. Yeah, or you can call in. Oh, yeah. Could that yeah, you can always call Absolutely. in. And Carol will be back next week. And she's going to tell us all about her seminars, her travel, where she's been, the clients that she has been talking to. And we have amazing, amazing stories coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. People that are recovered from things that are like crazy, like some of these stories that she has been emailing me, the things that people have went through their spiritual growth alone and how they spiritually connected. And um, one of the things that I love about us doing these seminars is we go to places where there's not a whole lot of education other than Google. And we go to these small towns like we were talking about. I went to Champaign, Illinois. I mean, there's not a whole lot of resource there for anything spiritual. There wasn't a lot of, you know, spiritual workshops or psychics or information on chakra or a spiritual connection, self-help. There was like a Barnes and Noble, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, and Google. <laughs> um, so doing seminars in those smaller areas, I feel like we've reached so many people, you know, and that's what she's doing. She is doing so many seminars and she's already emailed me amazing stories. And I can't wait to share them with you guys in the weeks to come. So I just want to tell everybody, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed Daniel's story. Uh, Daniel, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, if you guys want to call in after the show, questions, input, it's 312-898-2285. And you are listening to Spiritual Diagnostics. I am Justice Welling, and I hope you have a wonderful day. You've been listening to Spiritual Diagnostics Radio. 
Psychic Answers and Spiritual Solutions with Carol Dorian and Justice Welling. Diagnosing the spiritual cause of unwanted life patterns. For more information on your favorite healers, visit spirituald.com and tune in every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio to receive your weekly dose of enlightenment.